Yan. So, welcome for our today's discussion. Uh, we will continue the discussion on application of indefinite integrals. Okay, so for this topic, we will be discussing uh, electric circuits. Okay, so particularly uh, capacitor and inductors. No? So, yan. So, let's have our example here, no? Sabi dito, the current on a, or to a certain capacitor is given by I is equal to 2T cubed plus T squared plus 3. The initial charge is 9.5 coulombs. Find the charge after 3 seconds. Okay, so in solving electric circuits, no? We need to know several, uh, several equations no unlike the previous uh, indefinite integral applications that we are deriving for the equation uh, for electric circuits we already have a given equation no for in this case since we are looking for the charge no so ang equation na gagamitin natin is q is equal to the integral of i dt so ano ba yung mga ano natin dito no so of course q is Q is the charge. No? Yan. Q is the charge. Then, of course, I is current. Okay, so, additional, no? What I do in solving electric circuits is I draw the schematic diagram. Para mas, ano, no? Mas may idea ako ano yung nagaganap. No, so since we are we have here a current source no current source yung ano natin no yung connection natin current to a certain capacitor is given by no ayan so pwede ko siya i-connect no let's say sa isang current source then ito yung capacitor natin ayan sabi no based dun sa problem ano yung value ng i natin we have 2t cubed plus t squared plus 3. So, i is equal to 2t cubed plus t squared plus 3. No? So, ito siya. Then, yung charge naman daw natin, no? Sabi, the initial charge is 9.5 coulomb. So, q is equal to 9.5 at what time? No? Since, uh, yung problem natin is time dependent, no? As you can see naman doon sa integral natin, no? I dt. So, time is zero, of course. That is because initial yung condition natin. So, pinapahanap sa atin is charge at time. Yung given natin, we have 3 seconds. No? So, time is equal to 3 seconds. Ayan. So, gamitin natin, no? Yung ating formula, no? We have Q is equal to the integral of I dt, which is ito yun. 2T cubed plus T squared plus 3 dt then we get the integral no so what is the integral of 2t cube dt no ito siya yung dt natin nandito so that is uh t to the fourth over 2 so bakit diba t cube is t to the fourth over 4 but we have 2 in front so that is uh 2 over 4 that is 1 half no so t t to the fourth over 2 plus t cube over 3 plus 3t plus c. And we need to get the value of c of the arbitrary constant no based doon sa mga values natin. So, gamitin natin tong initial condition. No? So, we have here 9.5 coulombs is equal to what? 0 to the 4th over 2 plus 0 cube over 3 plus 3 times 0 plus c. So, what is the value of c? No? So, ito mawawala. Then, na may iwan is 9.5. So, we have here, 9.5. So, substituting the value of the arbitrary constant doon sa nakuha nating equation kanina, so we have Q is equal to T to the 4th over 2 plus T cube over 3 plus 3T plus 9.5. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin, the value of the charge at 3 seconds, ba? So, yan yung pinapahanap sa atin. So, labas natin yung calcul natin, no? So, of course, para mas mabilis nating ma-evaluate. Ma labas ko lang yung calcul. Ayan. Ayan. 
So, solve natin, no? Using our calculator. Usog ko lang yung, ano. So, sabi dito, no? So, yung t, gagawin ko lang x to the fourth, no? Over 2 plus x cubed over 3 plus 3t, di ba? Plus 9.5. Tapos, ano nga daw yung value ng charge natin? Ay, yung time natin, doon sa hinahanap na charge, 3 seconds. No? So, we have 68. No? 68. Uh, we have here 68 coulombs. No? So, ito yung sagot natin. So, ayan. So, this is the charge of the capacitor no? at time, 3 seconds. So, I hope you guys, ano, no, naintindihan. Ayan. So, sana naintindihan natin, no. Ayan. So, ito yung solution, no. Ganyan lang siya. No, that's how you solve electric circuits, no, in integral calculus. Okay, so let's proceed with example number 2, of course, no. So, sabi dito, Okay, a 2.5 farad capacitor with initial voltage of 3.25 volts is charged with a current source I is equal to T times the square root of T squared plus 6.83 amperes. Find the voltage across the capacitor after 1.5 seconds. So, may gagamitin din tayong formula for this. Okay, so, since voltage yung inahanap, okay, we have another formula for this. We have 1 over C times the integral of I dt. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. No? So, ano ba yung mga letters na nandito natin? No? So, V is voltage, of course. No? C is capacitance. Of course, I is current. Current. So, ito yung tatlong ano natin, no? Uh, mga, si, mga letters na ginagamit. Of course, T is time, no? Kalimutan ko din siya kanina, isama kanina. Ayan, pero T is time. No? So, i-ano din natin, no? I-drawing din natin para mas ma-visualize natin ng ayos yung ating problem. Again, this is connected to a current source. No? Yan. So, ano daw yung value ng I natin? I is equal to T times square root of T squared plus 6.83. So, let natin dito. So, I is equal to T times the square root of T squared plus 6.83. Yan. Sasabi, no? ano daw yung capacitance value nung capacitor natin? So, that is uh, 2.5 farad. So, magiging 2.5 to. Then, sabi, ano, ano yung condition natin? With initial voltage of 3.25 volts. So, V is equal to 3.25 at time 0. So, basta initial, nakita nyo na initial, matic 0 yun, no? So, ano din yung voltage, no? At time, ito yung pinapahanap, at time what? At time, 1.5 seconds. T is equal to 1.5 seconds. Ayan. So, yan, no? So, solve natin. So, gamitin natin formula natin, no? So, V is equal to 1 over 2.5 times the integral of T times the square root of T squared plus 6.83 dt. Okay? So, let us use U is equal to T squared plus 6.83 Kunin natin yung differential. So, we will have 2 T dt. Okay, since T dt lang yung meron tayo, divide ko by 2. Tag at neutralizing factor. So, we have T dt is equal to 1 half du. No? So, we have here 1 over 1 over 2.5 times the integral of 1 half square root ng u du. Okay? So, nireduce natin yung integral natin into this. Okay, next. So, kunin na natin, pwede na natin kunin yung integral na to, no? So, we have 1 over 
times 1 half times what is the integral of uh, square root of u du. Actually, meron tong parang shortcut na sagot, no? Yung, uh, basta integral, uh, integral of square root of u du, this is automatically equivalent to 2 over 3 square root ng u cube plus c. No? So, ito yun. Yung integral ng square root of u du, that is 2 over 3 square root ng 2, uh, square root ng u cube plus c. Okay. So, makakancel to. Diba? So, may iwan natin is 1 over 7.5. Diba? 2.5 times 3 is 7.5. Sa so, square root ng, ano yung, ano natin? T squared plus 6.83 cube plus C. Diba? So, yan yung, ito yung formula ng, um, I mean, sa yung base formula. No? But we need to find the, arbitrary constant. And alam natin na makukuha natin yun by means of ito yung initial condition. Voltage is 3.25 at time 0. So this is 3.25 is equal to 1 over 7.5 times square root ng 6.83 cube. Bakit siya naging 6.83 cube na lang? Remember that time is equal to 0. Okay? Then plus C. Okay? So... Okay, let's proceed. What's the value of C? No? So, pwede natin i-calcul na yan. Labas ko lang yung calcul natin. Usog ko lang. Ayan. So, here's our calcul. Okay, so let's solve 3.25 minus ito. No, yung 1 over 7.5 times square root ng 6.83 cube. Okay, so the value of C is 0.87. Okay? 0.87. Yan. So, we have already our C. Pwede na natin siya i-substitute. V is equal to 1 over 7.5 times the integral of babalik na natin yung T squared plus 6.83 cube plus 0 0.87. Okay? So, that's for the voltage. Baba ko muna yung calcul. Ayan. So, okay. So, let's solve. No? Ano daw yung tinatanong sa question? We have the voltage at time. At time what? 1.5 seconds. Okay? So, we have V at 1.5 is equal to what? No? So, gamitan na natin ang calcul. We have 1 over 7.5 square root ng x squared plus 6.83 cube then plus 0.87 so calc, ano yung value natin? 1.5 at time 1.5 the voltage is 4.518 4.518 volts. No? So, ito. Ayan yung sagot, no? At V is equal to 4.518. Ayan. So, yan. So, that's for problem number 2, no? So, at one at time 1.5 second, voltage is 4.518. Okay. So, next, okay, so with our last example for our uh, circuits problem. Okay, so, sabi dito, no, the voltage across a 13.25 Henry inductor is uh, square root of 3T plus 25.4 volts. If the, uh, find the initial, uh, find the current, if the inductor at 4.5 seconds, if initial current is 6.15 amperes. Okay, so for the inductor, of course, we have another set of formula to use no, for the inductor. So, for the current uh, inductor current, so I is equal to 1 over L. That's the integral of B dt naman. No, kung kanina I dt, ngayon of course dito B dt. No, so, ano yung ano natin dito? Of course, I is current. I is current. L is what? Inductance. 
in Henry's, no? In Henry. Then uh V is volts, no? Of course T is time. Ayan. So let's draw, no? So para medyo mas ma-appreciate natin naman. So current source, ah, voltage source. Ayan. So, ito yung voltage natin, no? Uh, square root of 3T plus... Wait lang. Square root ng 3T plus 25.4. So, of course, inductance is 13.25. Okay, tapos daw yung current. Okay, sabi no, initial current is 6.15 ampere. So, this is 6.15. Just to be sure. Ayan. So, 6.15 at time 0. Of course, this is the initial current. So, ano yung pinapahanap sa atin? Uh, 4.5 seconds. Uh, current at 4.5 seconds. At T is equal to 4.5. Oh, uh, 4.75 rather. Am I right? Yes, 4.75. Ayan. So, let's solve. No, So, we have here I is equal to 1 over 13.25. Okay. Times the integral of to 3t plus 25.4 dt. Diba? So u is equal to what? 3t plus 25.4. Then alam natin na du is equal to 3 dt. Okay? So divide ko lang by 3. To get the neutralizing factor, we have dt is equal to 1 third du. No, so, this is 1 over 13.25 times the integral of 1 over 3 square root of u du. And alam natin, meron tayong parang shortcut, uh, shortcut answer na ginagamit for the integral of square root of u du. So, that is 2 over t. 2 over 3 uh, square root ng u cube. Okay, so we have here 1 over 3.25 times 3. 1 over 3 times 2 over 3 uh, square root ng u cube. Plus c of course. No? Then let's simplify. So we have here We have here 477 over 4. Ayan. Then, ano yung view natin? So, we have here square root ng 3t plus 25.4 cube. Then, plus c. No? So, this is our V. Okay, so we need to find the value of the arbitrary constant for us to solve the value of V. No? So, we have, ano yung initial, ano natin? Uh, initial, uh, rather current pala, hindi pala to V, no? I'm sorry about that. We have I. So, ano nga daw? The initial current is 6.15 at time 0. No? So, we have here, 6.15 is equal to 477 over 4 square root ng 25.4 cube. Again, no, t is equal to 0, kaya nawala yung 3t. Then, plus c. So, c is equal to what? So, labas natin yung calcul natin. So, we have 6.15 minus 477 over 4 square root ng 25.4 cube. 
So we have C is equal to what? Negative 15,259.277. Ayan. So let's double check, no? So 206.15 minus 477 over 4. Diba? 477 over 4. So double check ko lang yung ano, no? Fraction natin. Ayun. So, may error tayo dito, no? So, baguhin ko lang. 8 over 477. Baka ako, medyo malaking discrepancy. 8 over 477 pala. Sorry about that. Ayan. So, of course, this will change, no? Ayan. Store ko na lang. Store A. Ayan. So, we need to find the value of C. Again, no, going back, we need to find the value of C. So, we have here 6.15 minus yung 8, 8 over 477 natin times the square root ng 25.4 cube. Okay. Ayan. So, we have C is equal to 4.003. Ayan. So, Okay, so we have here i is equal to 8 over 477 square root ng 3t plus 25.4 cube plus 4.003. No? So, ang pinapahanap sa atin na value for i, i is equal to what? i is equal to 4.75. So, i 4.75 is equal to what? No, so, gamitin natin yung calcul natin. Ayan, para mas kita. Ayan. So, <coughs> we have here, store ko na lang to as C. Ayan. So, we have yung E square root ng 3x plus 25.4 cube plus C. Ayan. So, I is equal to 6.745 amperes. So, sabi no, at 4.75 seconds, uh, current is uh, 6.745 amperes. Ayan. So, that's how you solve electric circuits involving uh, involving integral calculus okay so i hope you guys learned something no? so you just practice and practice in solving para masanay kayo ano mas mabilis mag solve uh, with minimal to no error no so that's it thank you for listening and stay safe